Filo dough is really delicious and really versatile, but it can be a little bit intimidating because it's kind of fragile. I'm gonna show you some tips today that'll make it very easy for you to work with. Filo's most often sold frozen, and it really works best if you thaw it overnight in the fridge. You can thaw it in the counter, but it's not quite as easy to work with. So just try to think ahead and thaw it one day ahead in the fridge. It comes wrapped in these plastic tubes, and you can just snip them off. And then when you pull it out, it'll see it's actually got an extra plastic wrapping around it, and you just unroll that. Filo dough dries out really quickly. That's one of the biggest problems that you have. You try to pick it up and it flakes and falls apart. That's because it's drying out. So for the portion that you're not working with currently, just make sure you keep it covered. You can either fold it back over and wrap it like this, or if you want it to be more convenient and keep it laid out, just cover it over with either some plastic wrap or a damp tea towel. So what gives phyllo its flaky, buttery texture is they're very thin layers of dough with butter layered in between. So we're gonna start with one layer of phyllo, and you can see, just pick it up and just gently move it over. Don't worry if it rips or tears, because you're gonna make layers, and that's gonna kind of seal it up. And then you're gonna brush it with butter. You can use clarified butter for your phyllo dough. If you're using whole butter, just whole melted butter, just make sure you're stirring it frequently while you use it. It works best if you start from the center of the phyllo and brush out to the edge. All right, that's the first layer, so I'm gonna do another layer. The number of layers really depends on your recipe. If you're gonna use your phyllo for something sweet, you can sprinkle a little sugar on top of the butter. And you'll see, once you've got that first layer done, it's really not so fragile anymore. And that's it. I'm gonna show you how to do a wrapping technique for a really quick appetizer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice a strip off the end of the phyllo, put my extra aside, and this is just some mushroom bruschetta from our antipasto bar. And I'm just gonna put a little bit right at the end here, and then kind of fold it over, kind of into a little triangle. You don't have to worry about sealing this first fold over and up, kind of like folding a flag when you were little. Over and up, over and up, and that's it. It kind of seals itself. You can brush the top with a little extra butter to help it brown, but you can freeze these as they are, or you can bake them right away. That was a quick, easy appetizer, and as you saw, phyllo dough is nothing to be afraid of. So next time you see a recipe with phyllo, give it a try.